Welcome to Frosty's Bushcraft. I'm Frosty, your host, and today I'll show you how to make a three-in-one survival bottle, and we'll also test it out. So stay tuned. So for this project, I'll be using this stainless steel water bottle. I got it from Elephant Box in UK, and it's 1.2 liters. So the first thing I need to do is tighten it and just mark where I'll make my hole. As you can see I'm doing this in my garage and uh, this project doesn't really need any special equipment. Just basic tools to make it. I'll be using this ten millimeter drill bit to widen this hole. I make make this adapter fit inside and this is exactly 10 millimeters as you can see my drill is a bit short so I'll just use this and drill it The reason I'm doing it this way and not and not soldering or welding is because this way everyone can make it. And uh, to make this seal tight, I'll just use a brass washer. Now to make this cap watertight I'll just use some rubber and okay now I know the diameter of it So this thing here isn't just a water bottle slash desalinator, it's also a pressure cooker. And for that I made this. This is a, uh, well, it's a pressure valve I made. It's all stainless steel and uh, brass. And the main tube is brass. It's got press fitted stainless steel inserts on both sides and a stainless steel ball bearing you can see here. And it works by this spring applying pressure to the ball bearing which seals tight right here, you can see it. And the pressure adjustments go from zero you hear it's loose to about 30 psi when this is tightened all the way 
and uh, this is 0.6 millimeter thick so I want it to be on a safe side and uh, just screw it like this and voila you have a pressure cooker and yeah that's it simple really If you're scratching your scratching your head right now wondering why would I even need a pressure cooker outside well there are a few reasons for it first of all you can cook your cook your food inside and uh, it's gonna be cooked well really fast second you don't need a lot of water which is, goes well hand in hand with uh, the selenator part of this and uh, well, you can boil your water to make it safe for drinking and it takes a lot less time when it's closed and well, there's the altitude thing so it's a nice thing to have and really doesn't weigh much, maybe 20 grams or something really lightweight Now, a uh, really simple way to check if this seal is good is you open the cap and uh, you put this whole bottle under well, boiling water or you heat it up and close it and let it cool down. And if you hear air hissing and you try to open it, that means the seal is great. And now let's try it. You see, this is holding great and well, as I told you, the reason I use this method is because, well, anyone can do this. It doesn't require welding or soldering or anything, just a couple of pieces from a hardware, hardware store and that's it. And now to make... the desalinator part For this I'm just using a simple copper tubing, it's 8mm by 1mm and I'll just make a few turns around my bottle. Yeah, I think that should be enough. When you're bending any kind of tubing, a good thing to do is fill it with sand. So while you're bending it, you don't get uh, flat spots or breaks. But uh, copper is very soft and uh, this is actually relatively thin. So I'm not gonna do that today. I'll just try to make a nice looking bend for the adapter. This is the flat spot I was talking about.
doesn't look too bad and now only thing left for me to do is to put an adapter here so I can screw it instead of this cap And that's it. And now I just need to test it out. So, three, two, I have around one liter of water inside and to check it, check if this thing really works I just put a bunch of sea salt So this is my setup and now we have to wait for it to boil to see if, if and how this works Now usually you would do this over a fire, but ah, <laughs> look at it. Um, let me just turn it down a bit. You would usually do this do this over a fire, but. Uh, Actually, we had a major fire at my company yesterday and my lungs and my head still hurt from all the smoke, so <laughs> today I'm really not in a mood for lighting the fire. And uh, I do apologize if there are any background noises, but apparently spring came to Croatia, so for the next couple of months will have this never-ending melody of chainsaws and heavy equipment. To make all your steam convert back to water, you could use a wet towel or uh, something like that to put inside or outside these coils to cool them faster. Or you could use uh, well, something a bit shorter than this bottle, maybe a glass, and uh, just put the end of the coil uh, on the bottom. So you know the water that's inside will cool the steam. And well, you won't have any losses. So this right here is 
pure distilled water and uh, distilled water doesn't have any minerals or electrolytes so while it can save your life uh, it's not an ideal solution and to make it better you can simply put a well, spoon or two of the salty water inside or you can use one of the rehydration salt packs I always carry a few with me and uh, that way I have good water It's water, right? So, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Uh, oh, one thing more, one more thing to mention: uh, stainless steel bottles do not have coatings inside, so it's safe to cook in on them. It's safe to boil your water. There's literally no uh no health dangers or anything so yeah that's it for this week see you next time cheers guys